In his youth, it should be said that King Aegon IV was said to be an outwardly a comely and charming young man. Given his position and his looks, it is no surprise that from a young age he had the ambitious women at court falling at his feet to become his new mistress. However, once he became king and he became consumed by his gluttony and power, the king became immensely overweight and in poor health. Towards the end of his life, it was a wonder he could even manage to walk. That's if you could call it walking. But even in this poor physical condition, King Aegon IV still found himself with the pick of the women as they still threw themselves at him willingly. Perhaps willingly is not the correct term, as many of these women were forced down this path by ambitious fathers or brothers who saw them as a way to advance their own position by being in the king's good graces. King Aegon never loved his wife, his sister, Queen Nerys, and had no feeling for 99% of the women he bedded. But in his own words, he did truly love nine. These nine women are known as the nine mistresses of King Aegon IV, the unworthy. The first of these mistresses was Lady Felena Stokeworth. Ten years older than the king, Lady Felena boasted to have made a man of him in 149 AC, when Aegon was 14 years of age, Felena 24. When a Kingsguard knight found the pair bed together in 151, his father, Prince Viserys, wed Felena to his master-at-arms, Lucas Lothston, and persuaded the king to name Lord Lothston, Lord of Harrenhal, in order to remove Felena from court and away from his son. It is claimed that Felena was Aegon's first so-called love, and thus he bore some resentment towards his father for marrying her off and sending her away. However, over the next two years, Aegon frequented Harrenhal regularly. Felena first came to court during the early years of the reign of King Aegon III, during which time she would sometimes play at dolls with the young Queen Jehera Targaryen. Unfortunately, Queen Jehera died in 133 AC, allegedly by suicide. Afterwards, the Maiden Days Ball was held at the Red Keep to find a new wife and queen for the king. Many maidens across Westeros came to King's Landing in the hopes of marrying the young king. Felena was one of the many maidens who suffered what was called the Maiden Days Curse by being injured or scandalised after the ball was announced. In Felena's case, she took a tumble down the serpentine steps of the Red Keep and broke her leg. According to Archmaester Gildain, Lord Unwin Peak, the Hand of the King, may have engineered the fall to promote his own daughter as the king's second wife. Felena returned to court at King's Landing when King Aegon IV named her husband as his Hand of the King. Felena brought her daughter, Lady Jane Lothston, with her. Jane became Aegon's eighth mistress, and it was widely rumoured that Felena and her daughter Jane shared the king's bed. However, Aegon soon gave Jane a pox. He had caught from a whore he had seen after Lady Bethany Bracken's execution, and the Lothstons were all sent away from court again. Thankfully, Aegon had no children by Felena, as there were some rumours that Jane was his own daughter, but there is no proof of this claim. The second of King Aegon IV's lovers was Maget, known as Merry Meg, a young and buxom wife of a blacksmith from Fairmarket. Whilst riding near Fairmarket in 155 AC, Aegon's horse threw a shoe, and when he sought out the local smith, he came to notice the man's young wife. He went on to buy her for seven gold dragons and a threat of Sir Geoffrey Staunton of the Kingsguard. Maget was installed in a house in King's Landing. It is said she and Aegon wed in a secret ceremony conducted by a mummer playing a septon. Maget gave the prince four children in as many years. Prince Viserys put an end to it, returning Maget to her husband and placing her daughters with the faith to be trained as scepters. Maget was beaten to death within a year by the blacksmith. Aegon and Merry Meg's daughters were called Alassane, Lily, Willow and Rosie. The third of Aegon's mistresses was Lady Cassella Vaith, the daughter of a Dornish lord. After the submission of Sunspear during the invasion of King Daron I to Targaryen, Aegon escorted the hostages that the king had gathered from the Lords of Dawn back to King's Landing. Among them was Cassella Vaith, a willowy maid with green eyes and pale white blonde hair, whom Aegon ended up keeping hostage in his own chamber. When the Dornishmen revolted and murdered King Daron, all the hostages were to be killed, and Aegon, by then bored of her, returned Cassella to her place with the other prisoners. However, the new king, Baelor the Blessed, pardoned all the hostages 
and personally took them back to Dawn. Casella never wed, and in her old age was consumed by the delusion that she had been Aegon's one true love and that he would soon send for her. The pair had no children. Mistress number four was Belagir Orthoras, smuggler, trader, and sometimes pirate, captain of the Willow Wind, born of a union between a Bravosi merchant's daughter and an envoy from the Summer Islands. After Queen Neris fell pregnant and almost died in 161 AC, King Baelor sent Aegon to Bravos on a diplomatic mission. Accounts of the time suggest it was an excuse to make certain Aegon left Neris alone as she recovered from a failed childbirth. There he met Belagir. His affair with the woman continued for 10 years, though it was said that Belagir had a husband in every port, and that Aegon was one of many. She gave birth to three children during the decade, two girls and a boy of doubtful paternity, Belenora, Nara, and Beleriand. The fifth mistress was Lady Barbara Bracken, the vicious dark-haired daughter of Lord Bracken of Stonehenge, and the companion to the three princesses in the Maiden Vault. With King Baelor's death in 171 AC and Viserys II's ascension to the throne, the princesses were once again permitted male company. Aegon, now Prince of Dragonstone and heir apparent, became entranced with the 16-year-old Barber. On his own ascent in 172 AC, he named her father as Hand of the King and openly took her for his mistress. She bore him a bastard only a fortnight before another set of twins, a stillborn boy and a girl, Daenerys, who survived, were delivered by Queen Neris, with the Queen lingering near death. The Hand, Barber's father, talked openly of wedding his daughter to the King, but after the Queen's recovery, the scandal proved Barbara's undoing, as young Prince Daron and his uncle Aemon the Dragon Knight forced Aegon to send her and the bastard away. The boy, raised by the Brackens, was called Aegor Rivers, but in time he became known as Bitter Still. The sixth mistress was Lady Melissa Blackwood, known as being the best loved of the king's mistresses both younger and prettier than Lady Barber, albeit far less buxom, as well as more modest. Missy had a kind heart and generous nature that led even Queen Neris herself, as well as the Dragon Knight and Prince Daron, to befriend her. When Barber Bracken was heard to joke that Melissa was flat as a boy, King Aegon, who had previously renamed the hills known as the Mother's Teats after Barber, Barber's Teats, named the mountains for Melissa instead, and granted them to House Blackwood. Members of House Bracken still refer to the hills as Barber's Teats, while members of House Blackwoods still call them Missy's Teats. Melissa was King Aegon's mistress for five years, during which she gave birth to three children, two daughters, Maya and Gwenys, and a son, Brendan Rivers, also known as Blood Raven. Brendan would later be able to maintain a close relations at court due to the fact his mother had been well loved during her time there. Even after her dismissal, a statue of Melissa can be found in the godswoods of Raven Tree Hall. The seventh mistress of Aegon was Lady Bethany Bracken, the younger sister of Lady Barber. Bethany was groomed by her father and sister expressly to win the king's favour and displace Melissa Blackwood. In 177 AC, she caught Aegon's eye after he visited Stonehenge to see his bastard son, Aegor. By now, the king was fat and foul-tempered, but Bethany delighted him and he took her back with him to King's Landing. However, Bethany found his royal embrace distressing. For comfort, she turned to a knight of the king's guard, Sir Terence Tone. The pair were discovered abed by Aegon himself in 178 AC. Sir Terence was tortured to death and both Lady Bethany and her father were executed. When Sir Terence's brother sought to revenge his death, Prince Aemon the Dragon Knight was slain while defending his brother. The pair had no children. Mistress number eight, as noted prior, was Lady Jane Lothston, daughter of Lady Philena, the king's first mistress. Her father was Lucas Lothston, or perhaps even the king himself. Jane was brought to court by her mother in 178, when she was 14 years of age. Aegon had made Lord Lothston his new hand, and was said, but never proved, that he enjoyed both mother and daughter together in the same bed. He soon gave Jane a pox he caught from a whore he'd been seeing after Lady Bethany's execution, and the Lothstons were sent from court. Despite rumours that Jane was his own daughter, there is no proof of this, and it's suggested to be a rumour started specifically to paint the king in the worst possible light, despite Aegon's reputation already being low. The final of King Aegon IV's mistresses was Sereni of Lys, a Lysini beauty from an ancient but impoverished line. Brought to court by Lord John Hightower, 
the new hand of the king. Serene was the most beautiful of Aegon's mistresses, but she was also reputed to be a sorceress. She died giving birth to the last of the king's bastard children, a girl called Shiera Seastar, who became the greatest beauty in the Seven Kingdoms, beloved of both her half-brothers, Aegor and Brendan, whose rivalry would ripen to hatred. <laughs> 